मस्त महल में यहाँ से कृष्ण जमुना को पार करते हुए उस पार गए गोकुल इसी प्रकार यहाँ पर जय प्रेम दान किया इसी प्रकार यहाँ के ये स्वर्णिया ब्राह्मण यह भी प्रसिद्ध कथा है इसी प्रकार आदि के सब देव जी यहाँ पर विराजमान है अभी So we are sitting in the temple of Adi Keshav Dev, and uh, Prabhuji spoke very long. <laughs> Whatever I remember, I speak it. So <clears throat> he said one story that when Shivan Mahaprabhu performed his pastimes 500 years ago, then at that time the Bing, uh, this West Bengal was ruled by Subuddhi Rai. He was a very nice king, and but as we know. The empires are always changing one after another. So he was in the lower part, or somehow or another, the empire changed, and the next king who came, who the ruler came, was Hussein Shah, and he was a very notorious person. But he had uh, when he married, then once his wife, she noticed that on his back there were three marks, three signs, as if somebody have beaten him. So she was inquiring that why these signs are on your back. And he, was, he kept refusing that. No, it's not so important like that. But then, when she <coughs> insisted to know, then he said, "Okay, I'll tell you. When uh, I was uh, actually one of the officers in the kingdom or in the empire of Subuddhi Rai, then I did so much corruption, millions of millions of rupees, and I did not report it that to him. When later on he found, then." He gave an order that I should be killed or put sentence. To, he gave sentence to that. That's the order he gave. But then, some or another, uh, so many requested. Some of us requested to uh, forgive me. Then he said, "Okay, I will not kill you or I will not put you, uh, hang you to death. But what I will do, he, he will beat him with three hunters or whips in the back. So that he did, and these sign, these marks are of that beating." So then his wife, she said, "Okay, uh, we should must take revenge of this. We must take revenge from him. Why he did that?" And then he said that, "Well, it's over now. I did something and I got it. So now we should forget it. Whatever has happened." But she said, "No, we must take revenge. How come you do so to you?" And he said, "Okay, what shall we do?" And they were making so many plans how to take revenge from uh, this king, Subhudhi Rai, who was no more king, but he was still staying there. So because he was a, a Hindu, so what they did very cleverly, they made a plan, and they made him drink uh, a dirty water, means the water which they used to clean stool. After doing stool, they clean, wash hands, etc. So they made him drink that water. When all this Brahman or in the society, all the people they found out that oh, Subhudhi Rai has dr uh, drunk that water, so they said him, now you cannot stay in our society anymore. So he was outcasted because at that time in society, all these Brahmanical people they were very strict, the smart Brahman, caste Brahmins. So then he was uh, sent out of that, <coughs> and but he wanted to come back in the society. So all of them they got together and. They made a panel, a board of few people who would make decision what to do now for Subhuti Rai. So then they said, okay, there's only way he can uh, repent or he can uh, atone. Yeah. The way he can atone is that he should. The only way he should die, but since he don't want to die or he shouldn't be killed, so what we do, he should drink one kilo of boiling ghee or oil. Boiling, he should drink it. And if he cannot do that, then he should one iron ball should be uh, given in fire, and when it becomes red hot, he should put that in his mouth. <laughs> so then, then the atonement can be done. <clears throat> so whatever solution they were giving, that was also actually that he will die. <laughs> so there is no rescue for him. So then he approached Mahaprabhu, and he requested, uh, he said that how I can atone myself. So Mahaprabhu said, "You just chant Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram." And just by chanting this mantra, he said, "Now you're purified. <laughs> no more atonement." So he said, "Now what shall I do? I should stay here and do some serving." He said, "No, you shouldn't stay here. You should go to Mathura, and in the temple of Adi Keshav Dev, you should go there and sweep the floor, clean the floor, and whatever people come here for darshan, you should serve them." And most of the times, when the pilgrims who come here, they stay when they take. Uh, when they bathe, 
then before bathing they put oil. So whatever money you collect from the service, you purchase some oil or whatever things they need. This is how you should serve them. So this is how Sudhirai was here and he was uh, serving the deity of Adi Keshavde. This deity was installed by the grandson of Krishna Prajnap and he also installed many other places as Prabhuji mentioned, Govind Devin, Vrindavan, Hari Devin, uh, Govardhan and Adi Keshav Dev here and four Shivas, Mahadev as we heard we went that day in Prakama and Bhavan uh, Sarovar uh, or Vishwabhanu Kund, Bhimla Kund, like that all this etc. So many places were uh, found by Brajnath Prabhu Brajnath. and then uh, he said in that story that when Mahaprabhu came here he also did so much Sankirtan here with his devotees or followers who came here. So it's also a very uh, important place for us because Shivan Mahaprabhu has come here. And Prabhuji also told a story about how Krishna took birth here in the Janmabhumi temple because we'll be going there and taking darshans also. As we know that Devaki and Vasudev were imprisoned. So Krishna, he appeared there in a four-handed form. And when Devaki and Vasudev saw, they started praying him and glorifying him with so many prayers. But then Devaki and Vasudev, they got scared that soon Kansa will come to know that they have given birth to another child. So they, he was, he'll come and kill him. So they requested the Lord to assume a form of a human being as normal because he came as a 16-year-old young man and he was having his all four weapons. So they requested, the Lord said that you should not worry because I myself am the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Neither you should scare, be afraid of me and you should not be afraid of Kansa also. He cannot do anything to me. But still because Devaki insisted and she requested again and again. So Lord took the form of a uh, human-like boy and then he said, he requested uh, uh, Vasudev that he should take him to Gokul and in exchange of him, he is home, she should come here. So that's how he was transferred from here to Gokul and then that Yogamaya, that uh, daughter of Krishna was brought here. So uh, this temple will be going visiting there very soon. <coughs> Okay, so now we will be going to the main temple. Uh, we will be going to visit that prison where Krishna uh, appeared. So there is this very tight security and we are not supposed to take any kind of equipment, either video cameras or walkmans or mic or anything of that sort. So two brahmacharis will be waiting here on this side. So if you have anything, such kind of possessions, you can kindly hand over to them. It will be secured, no problem. And then we'll take darshans and on the other door when we'll come out, you'll, you'll get your things back. So kindly do that, otherwise we may get in trouble.